Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can give yourself a DIY crystal facial at home. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you cleanse your space. So you can either use um, white sage, you can use palo santo, but you just want to make sure the area in your space is clear before you start your facial. You want to make sure your face is clean, so you want to make sure that you've cleaned your face with your face wash before you start using the crystals. So the next thing you want to do is you want to select the crystals that you're going to use for your facial grid. And I'm going to talk you through which crystals are great for facials, okay, and what the properties are. And once you've selected them, you want to make sure that they are clean as well. So you just want to quickly make sure that you pop them in water just to ensure that all your crystals are clean. And you want to make sure that the crystals you use or that you place in water are actual crystals that can actually go in water because you don't want to be putting crystals in water that is going to damage them so make sure you look that up so you just want to make sure you give them a quick little rinse in water or under running tap water so now all your crystals are ready to be used okay they're ready for the facial um, but I'm going to talk to you now about what crystals to use for certain kind of skin areas so these crystal facials are a simple way to basically use crystals in your beauty routine and balance your skin and mind so you need to choose the crystal that was going to work best that aligns with your beauty intentions so clear quartz this is a great stone for clarity and clearing the skin clear quartz is known as the master healer so it's a multi-purpose stone it can be used for any kind of intention so this is perfect for the skin i always recommend putting a clear quartz for any kind of crystal facial you are doing so what i find really important about clear quartz is this is great for activating the grid formation so with a crystal point this is drawing invisible lines between the stones like you are connecting the dots so as you can see this is quite a pointed quartz so this is going to be the director for the facial grid and I will also show you how you can use one of these um, actually in your hand to place over your face uh, working as the facial grid so we have a tourmalated quartz here and this is good for breaking up any tension and energy blocks in your face. So if you're feeling quite tense, this is the perfect stone for your facial, okay? So I also find that if you have shagnite stones, they are great for detoxation and also purification. So this is a combination of promoting the blood circulation, which breaks up stagnant energy and encourages a smooth flow of energy throughout your face. So remember we have the tourmalated quartz, we have the clear quartz and also shagmite stones are perfect for it as well. So if you want to get rid of stress and you're feeling really tense, um, you can hold a lot of tension in our faces and it can take a while to build up so it can start to show. So to release your daily stress and calm your mind, I recommend fluorite. Um, this one is a fluorite heart and I do love placing hearts as a facial, it just gives it that kind of extra um, pamper in session. Fluorite is known as a de-stressor. So this is good for relaxation and for peace. And amethyst is amazing because this stone is good for clearing your mind and naturally relieving stress. I use amethyst for headaches. So this always works on my forehead um, to release that tension. I really feel the energy like pumping through my forehead. So this combination of crystals is really going to help you feel kind of rejuvenated. So if you want an anti-aging facial, I would recommend a lepidolite stone. This is the stone for beauty. So lepidolite or mica is believed to help reverse the aging process. So this is a great anti-aging stone. And also rose quartz as well because this is, um, Egyptians believe that rose quartz held anti-aging properties. So this is obviously the stone of love. This is perfect for this kind of self-love ritual. So if you're having trouble sleeping and you want a facial that's going to really kind of relax you to wind down for the night, I recommend blue lace agate. So this is great for calming and soothing energies. So this is really great to wind down the day with blue lace agate. So this is just going to help you feel um, really relaxed and stress-free before you kind of head down for the night. So this is kind of perfect to prepare you for dreamland. Um, what's also good for your bed routine would be a Labradorite. Um, this is a great stone to induce a dream state. Um, this is obviously the stone of transformation. So this is a perfect stone to help you have, um, you know, really great dreams at night. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of a facial grid that I have used. Um, I will insert it now. So for this facial mask, I used a clear quartz for clarity and clearing the skin. I placed an amethyst underneath for stress, tension and headaches. This is where um, a lot of tension builds. And then I placed rose quartz on the sides of my cheeks for dull complexion and anti-aging. And then I placed jade on my chin to calm redness and spots. Now in this facial, I've used my large amethyst on my forehead, again for headache tension purposes. I've placed the clear quartz to direct the energy. I've used rose quartz and fluorite for the properties I've mentioned. They're very calming. Um, and I've also used amethyst on my chin. And now this I have used because I am currently on my period. It's that kind of time of the month. So I'm obviously breaking out quite bad. So amethyst can increase the delivery of oxygen to the cells it does promote um, cellular regeneration and it's an anti-inflammatory property which can calm redness and breakouts so what i'm doing now i'm taking the clear quartz and i'm using this as the energy director so we are using this as the grid to connect the crystals so if we move this around the face you will feel the energy from the crystal um, clear quartz is really a high vibrational crystal so this is perfect to use to feel that energy rushing through your blood <laughs> so you can skip this stage if you like it is completely optional but you want to leave your crystal facial grid in place for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can basically take, remove the stones from your face and this honestly feels amazing on the skin because the crystals are naturally cooling stones so they really do feel really cooling and relaxing on the skin so after your facial you will then want to cleanse your crystals again so you really want to immerse them in water to make sure that they are nice and clean for your next facial and i also also like to finish it off with this um, therapy restore aura spray so this is formulated with organic rose and frankincense water tropical basil cold pressed lemon oil and crystal essences of rose quartz and amethyst so it's infused with crystals and reiki so it's a highly charged formula so it does rebuild your energy and your aura field so that completes my diy crystal facial that you can do at home it's really easy to do i like to do this like once a week so please thumbs up the video if you like this video leave me a comment subscribe and um, i'll see you in my next video